Arriving back at Vanguard base. Stabilizers are failing. Hold on. This is VT21 requesting maintenance on craft. Hey, Dax. Saber, where are you going? To do work. Been away work long on enough. What exactly? I still need to report on what the hell happened. You can read it on your data pad. Well, I was hoping to hear it from the people who were actually there. Like, right. Uh, you know, there we go. It's like a cool technology, but we shouldn't murder people for it. And then somehow Saber and, uh, Snow got it in their heads that, well, they completely misunderstood how the tech worked, and they thought that the doctor would be able to, like, implant himself on ships and droids instantly or something, so he thought he'd be a threat to the Vanguard, and they were gonna go murder him. So they confused it with surrogation tech. Yeah, it's about the gist of it, but... Uh, Valen showed up, he only made things worse, because, you know, he's kind of an asshole like that. Open up. And, Who's uh, out there? And we kind of ruined the Vanguard's relationship I a. because of that. Okay, well that's a pretty good gist, but I was hoping for something more detailed. I heard that... Oh, I mean, I was hearing through comms that you two were getting ready to actually kill each other. Greeting, Saber, it's been a bit. Yep. I wasn't actually planning on hurting Saber, but I just stepped in front of the door and activated my lightsaber. Alright, so, incident report, we've reviewed it. We request that you never raise a gun like that to a Vanguard personnel again. So, let me get this straight. Hey, they did it first. We are unaware, and we just know that guns were raised at each other. Internal Affairs is going to get to everyone. However, I would like to inform you that another incident like this that escalates will result in the summary execution of everyone involved. One, he's entirely wrong about integrant, and two, he was a Vanguard okay. ally, at least he was. Okay. I wouldn't say everyone will get executed, but aggressors will. The director you've spoken to has been reprimanded, and your HC operative has been demoted. HC and directors do not have your best interest at heart. Starting to get that. Complacency of the Vanguard has been noticed, and there's complete restructuring of command. You will be assigned to your own subdivision under veterans, and they will be getting their own division now. This means you will get less forces on the field, but you'll have more accommodations with support. Okay. About time. So... Yes, no, I, I can believe... Boss that I'm in trouble with, yeah, well, yeah. another thing I need to go over real quick with you. Did you manage to seize any of the technology inside? IA does not support this endeavor. However, Vanguard HC and a lot of other organizations do. Something I don't know. Snow's kind of an idiot. Yeah, and he also wanted to escalate things to a fight so we could die honorably, according to what I was reading. That doesn't surprise me. Got some documents. I assume you scanned them? Yep. Him, and then he kept 
Uh, commence a transfer. We need to go over things just to make sure this tech can be evaluated to be a threat or an asset. Alright. Did you really think there's some scans of them? Alright, that is acceptable. I request if this incident ever occurs again, shoot to disarm, please. And then apprehend the person being the aggressor. That was the plan. Do you think Saber would have pulled his gun? We were under the impression that you were going to kill each other. Snow almost got killed and was asking for it, basically. Yeah. The issue was... We were standing against two Force users, and they're... A bit harder to take down. You could easily dispatch them, we've seen your combat logs. Neither of these characters are even equivalent to a Jedi Master, you should have no difficulty. The only one in the room that you would have difficulty with was probably Valen. But even then, you might have been able to kill him. However, look, can you inform me what Valen's position there was? He was an instigator trying to get us to fight. I still didn't want them going in there to kill the guy, so I sabotaged the door. Um, that planet is part of his, um, well, that building is part of his security forces, so. Not entirely sure why he's being an instigator, but that's annoying. You probably wanted Nick to fall to the dark side or something, maybe Nora too. i have to reevaluate Valen as an asset then. Yeah. Before this, he's never really acted out like this. And he, did you know why he showed up? Maybe, I don't know. I assume he was alerted. I don't know if she would have stepped out, but even if even mm, if she realized okay. the door couldn't have been gotten through. I mean, Valen was... Did you kill the person inside, or cut them off from their network? Nope. Alright, well, Boss is apparently going there himself to speak with him. We request, even though I'm IA, I have connections to other departments, I request that you monitor that location, please. Alright. If it wasn't already planned. But yeah, I still think regardless, Saber... Oh yeah, I was gonna keep an eye on him in case he turned um... against us. Psycho valves and other estimations have shown that there was a chance beforehand, but based on your actions and the fact that he likely heard it, according to what we've been told, the chances of him retaliating or going rogue have increased by around 35%. Honestly, that's not that bad. The percentile was already 25. Still. 55% chance he goes rogue? I'm not favorable of odds over 50. True, but it could have been higher. I mean, once boss speaks to him, we will get a gauge of character. And see what he's up to. You, you must be there. Four months on the dot. Well, I, I don't think four months on the dot, but you must contact him in four months telling, them, telling him you're arriving. Right. Expect if you go inside, he's probably not going to be in the center room, or if he is, he's going to be behind a blast gate. So, we are recommending you bring a Mark IV railgun. Alright. Can do. He's definitely good at what he does. If you could just pierce through him, you can neutralize the threat if he goes rogue. Reminder though, do not instigate, nor do you go on the aggressive versus him. You let him speak, if he shows some sign of going rogue or against the vanguard's wishes, you can put him down. Okay. I recommend in that time, did you get a scan of the room? I assume you did, you, you get yep. everything. Work on a device that could be able to be a spike to be put into his terminals to basically lock him out. That would be the best, so now we know for sure. Even if he does go rogue, you have a contingency. Is there anything else? Uh, of course. Not really. No, not much. 
Secondly, on top of that, um, something else I have to bring up with you. We have picked up that a few of your weapons have gotten missing from storage. Any idea why? Were they the ones that I gave right. to other people? No, we're missing one of each of your main weapons. Hmm. Well, I'll look into it. Um, we assume you probably gave them to Sparrow, or you sent them off to one of your bases. We're not sure. I just need to ask. Yeah, I need to review logs. Secondly, you are to monitor that clone trooper. Please stopping him from killing battle droids. He's costing us money. Quite a bit of it. Yeah. We might have near and unlimited that. money, but I'd rather not have to wait for the production line to keep up with what he's doing. Yeah, I got an eye on him. Alright. And lastly... Even though that you sided with Snow in this issue, please plan an elimination protocol on him. Already done. Good. I don't want to stir conflict, but Vanguard have authorized a contingency to eliminate him in case of jeopardization of a mission. Yeah, I made one a while ago. The people that I'm allies with pointing May I be informed of what it is, so we don't know if so we know if it's just you, in case you don't want to be known to the rest of the crew. Fair. I can send you a copy of it. All right, we just need to track if you kill him out randomly or if it's someone else. So if you're going to use your contingency, we would like to know it. Yep. Yeah. Sending it to you now. Alright. And received. Later. Your intel network is um being departmentalized as well. Your agents are now separated from Vanguard, just because there was a uh, intel breach recently, mm. where intel that your network people shouldn't have had had access to. I think I know who is responsible for that. Secondly, one of your intel agents has, um, it went AWOL. Um, right here is a progress report. We've already traced him, and we've already eliminated him. Mm. His name was, uh, 074. Uh, shame. Uh, no data was leaked. He had Good. no data on him. He seemed to have just, um, wanted to quit the organization. However, he went rogue and we shot him before we could quite He opened fire before we could ask questions. He could have just asked. Huh? What'd you say? I mean... I guess he didn't oh, realize he could've, he could've asked, asked leave, yeah. You were on mission at the time. Unfortunate. But, Anyways, oh well. that is all. You will need to speak to Dax, even though you do not do not want to. You need to know what your outlook and why you chose your decisions were for his request. Wow, awesome. Hold on. I was gonna use my off card on that. Mm. Alright. That's all. Um stay out of trouble please. What's up? There you are. Oh, so now you want to talk to me? Well, now I can talk to you. <sighs> okay, well, I already received, um, reports from Nick and the others, um... <sighs> all I need is to hear your side of things. Simple. Why did you... Okay, what's your side, then? To me, the pros outweighed the cons. 
opposed to what? The Vanguard? No, I mean... What does that have to do with you deciding to change the deal we had with Victor? That it was most likely he what were wouldn't the pros honor and cons it? In that? And why did you think he wouldn't honor it? What happened? He had protocols in place something? that would, once it would finish, he could activate and erase all data before giving it to us. Okay, but he agreed to give the data, I don't think. I don't know the full extent of the deal, but I thought the deal was an alliance first and foremost. You can't just believe everything everyone says. Yeah, but the point is, it was just one little thing. The Alliance, as far as I knew, was still on. But that's not really why you attacked him, is it? Saber? I was hearing things about you accusing him of getting ready to go rogue to mass an There's army. High likelihood he could do that. But that's all it is. Just likelihood. Theories. Conjecture. Would you, you rather risk a it? a lick of actual evidence to back up that? Like, did you? Like I said, the pros outweighed the cons. I prefer to eliminate Saber. threats before they become one. Saber, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here, but it sounds like you just... You were about to sever a deal we had arranged based on... a theory, basically. At the time, others agreed with me. At the time, others agreed with you on what? I'm pretty sure half of the team did not agree at all with you murdering someone over... over something you didn't have evidence for. I don't need to defend myself for this. I'm not asking you to defend yourself, I'm just asking why you would do something like this. What would compel you to do something like this? This isn't even like you. Wanting not as many of our troops to die in the future? Is that what you believe was going to happen? That he was going to turn on us and go to war with us and our troopers were going to die as a result. That's that what you thought and was going to happen. The tech could help us save lives. And would you rather lose it completely and have more people die? Saber, that's not entirely how Entechman works, you know. It's like, sure, you can turn someone into a droid to preserve their life from physical death, from their bodies dying, but that's massively different than living organically. Some might consider that a fate no. worse than dying, in fact. We're not talking about that. We're talking about we can get imprints from our best soldiers and put them in droids so that we don't have to have so many of our troops die and said we can supplant them or support them with so better you're troops. essentially saying we we clone our troops minds into droid bodies 
and mass produce them. And you have to hash out the final details with the engineers and scientists. Oh boy. That is definitely a new one for me. I I never thought I'd even have someone even considering that sort of thing in my lifetime. Hell, for all I know, the director was lying the whole time. Yeah, that <clears throat> that is also a possibility. But judging by the reports on what you were arguing about, it sounds like you were less following what the director was saying and more following your own beliefs. One of my primary goals Belief. is to help the vanguard, you know. Yes, but is provoking my violence between our members really the best way to do that? They stepped in first. Now I'd like... They stepped in front of you, but did they brandish their weapons in front of you first? Or were you the one to pull your gun on them just for standing in your way? I got some conflicting reports on that because, well, it was apparently a very hectic situation and people's memories are... Not the best in that regard, but you, you're actually able to record it, so you could give me a play-by-play -play of what the hell happened. Hold on, let me, uh, let me get that memory. Alright, good. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, have it right here. Nick pulled his saber out and ignited it first. Okay, yeah, that's what Nick told me. He said he wasn't quite clear on the details, but... I guess that's it then. So then you pulled your gun on him. Nora jumped in to try to de-escalate things and defend Nick. I believe Snow, Snow pulled his out before I did. Okay, that is actually very believable. <laughs> Yeah, because I know Snow was trying to escalate the whole thing into an actual fight, which he eventually did when he attempted to kill Danik right in front of everyone, and Nora had to step in to stop him. Yeah. But... But Saber... I don't know, I just figured, Saber, you... <laughs> You had the most reason and seniority across, you know, that whole group. Hell, you're even older than Valen. Don't you think you could have at least tried to de-escalate things and see why so many people were trying to stop you from doing with what you were doing instead of just trying to rush through them? I did attempt. So you did try to understand why they were trying to stop you. Well, they were trying to stop me because they didn't want one man to die. But again, you know, like, now you... But I pretty much explained to you why they were against what you were doing. They didn't... Like, basically, you were going off of probabilities and theories and projections. You weren't actually going off of evidence or, you know, personal experience with this guy. That's kind of a... Th I mean, I know I'm, I'm probably being very presumptuous to explain this to you, but that's kind of what humans generally prefer to deal with things as, rather than just going by raw data and projections. I've had people I trust more than him betray me instantly. Well, yeah. Sometimes people betray us. That's just how things are. In this I industry. also analyzed his vocal patterns. Okay, and 
What did you glean from that? It sounded off. I mean, of course it would sound off. Wasn't he speaking through a heavily distorted life support system? Yes, but there were chances that he could, you know, have delusions of, well, a lot of things if he fully succeeded. So what? A1 has delusions of grandeur all the time. And you don't see him destroying the whole galaxy. Well, that's because he's in it for us, the money. You? And we pay him. To supply his interests as well. And you were dealing with a businessman. Don't you think he was in it for the money too? Don't you think he just wanted to do business with us in the end? Not so sure. That seemed like his primary priorities, based on, you know, what I've heard from all this, from everyone's accounts, is that he just wanted to save his life from a deadly disease and keep his business going. That seemed like his main priorities. But... Moreover, besides that, Saber, you know, these are your teammates, right? Your friends? You can't just drop them like flies, you know? Well, They're I wasn't going to kill them unless They're they force me. Assets. And what would you define as them forcing you? I disarm them, and they continue to attack me, I injure them, and they continue to attack me. Okay, so... Despite your down. threats, apparently, you weren't going to shoot first. Under any circumstance. Nope. Okay, that is what I wanted to know. That was one of my chief concerns, because... I can't have you guys trying to kill each other on missions. That is not an option. It's like, we've never had these kinds of problems before, you know? We've always talked out our issues with each other, because, you know, as a, as a team, as friends, we've never resorted to violence against each other to solve a simple dispute like this. Well, I say simple, but still... Another thing, Saber, about trust and betrayal is that, well, thanks to your um, ideas on how to do things, now we've basically become the traitors in everyone's eyes. And that's not a reputation we wanted. Because, you know, that, that can negatively affect us too, you know. Now, if word gets out about this, it, or if this keeps happening, People are going to be less willing to work with us. And we're a mercenary company. Contracts and alliances are our life's blood. It's our whole business. So we need to have a good working reputation if we're going to stay in business. And one of the ways to keep up our reputation is to... ...properly serve our clients in accordance to our contracts. You see what I'm saying? Saber, just... Is that it? I know you had your reasons to do what you did. But I'm asking you to think on that. Because I thought we were past the era of you just p going in guns blazing at the slightest provocation. You know, I thought we were done with the quote-unquote saber moments. <laughs> I wasn't pissed off. Well, yeah, you weren't pissed off. Like, at least you were following a bit more logic in what you were doing that time, but... But still... It felt like you were tr you were thinking on a very limited data set when you made your decision. Next time, try to, um... 
What? Hmm. Okay, that's being dealt with. But yeah, just... Try not to act on that little data next time. I mean, I can understand if you do end up having to make a decision on little data, but... If people are actually offering you more data and perspectives... Don't just shut them out. Try to accept, you know, try to actually consider their viewpoints as well. Because it could give you a broader picture of things. Anything else? So, uh, not really, no. I think I've said everything I need to say. I can let you, I'll let you get back to it if you didn't have anything you wanted to talk to me about. Alright. Actually, wait, there is yep. one more thing. I was wondering, how are you feeling about the group right now? I mean, your, your immediate friends, you know? Like, how do you feel about them after what's happened? Well... This is one of the reasons why I left the field. The moral clashes. Didn't want those to happen. I mean, I'll still kill for you guys. Oh? Uh. Shit. That's actually bad. I have people there. Yeah. They gotta face him Damn. without Akbar. This is. This could actually be bad for the New Republic. Very bad. It already is bad. They lost a bunch of planets. They seceded. Huh. So that's it then. Yeah. If this keeps up, the New Republic might actually collapse. Thrawn can end up coming out on top. Especially for the planets that are rejoining the Empire. You can't tell me about it. He's been on a roll recently. 
to tell me about. He's managed to take Wistrel. He's managed to take the Corellian supply run. He's gotten Katana Fleet. All of this in just a few months? I'm very impressed. I mean, he's gone way farther than, I say, he's gone way farther, way faster than any of the Imperial Warlords ever have before him. That's because he's not a warlord. I heard the New Republic also lost to um, Ukiyo. Mm. Major agricultural world for him. Between that and Corellia, you can see why plants are seceding now. Their economy's about being ruins. I'm sure the the Empire has been hard at work offering them all sorts of better trade deals and supply deals as we speak. Yeah. Like, I knew Thrawn was good, but... Insane. The New Republic might not last the year at this rate. Good for him. Yeah, and good for us. I'm a little bit anxious to see where the galaxy is going to go as soon as Thrawn's got his way, but I know it's going to be very beneficial for us at the end. Oh, damn. Uh bunch of cloaked asteroids in orbit. Cloaked asteroids in orbit? What? Yeah. And they can't raise the planetary shield because of that. I'll be damned. It's one of the... <laughs> so he's lobbing asteroids at planets. That's... One of the oldest tricks in the book. That's also one of the most effective. Yeah. There's estimated over 300 of them. Yeah, and just one of them would be enough to cause mass devastation. Let alone all the rest of them. That's always that's always one thing I've never really liked about um the big city planets is that there's just they're just hard to defend cuz uh, virtually yeah. any shot that comes towards them it's gonna hit something important. It's like there's no oceans or remote lands to buffer anything. Not to mention the fact that uh, all of Coruscant's um, most wealthy and affluent people are on the f on the surface mm. layer, meaning that uh, in the event of an orbital bombardment, well, <laughs> they're gonna be um, <laughs> they're gonna be right in the firing line. Yep. It's kind of a funny twist, you know. Normally, um, aristocrats like to put themselves behind their their serfs, but not this time, because the um, the senators and everyone they just had to have their nice view of the sky. Yep. Yeah, that's one thing I liked about Naboo. Not only does it have plenty of water to absorb uh, bombardments with, but it also has a honeycomb core. Meaning that there's a chance that if you shoot something at us, not only could it go into the ocean, but it could just pass right through the... There's a chance it could pass right through the planet and go out the other end. Mm. Actually makes me wonder, what if the Death Star tried to attack Naboo? That would be kind of funny if that ended up happening with its super laser. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have, but eh, it's a fun little thought at least. 
Anyways, uh, what are you thinking about all this? What do you think it'll be like if Thrawn wins? Uh... Better for us? Well, yeah. It's already given that it's gonna be better for us if he wins, but, um... I meant more like, what do you think, I don't know, galaxy-wise? Well, it could go the same old, same old. A rebellion could rise up. But I think he would win in that fight. Well, yeah, there's always the issue of the rebellion. Especially if Skywalker's still kicking. Yeah. That close already, huh? <laughs> It'll definitely be interesting seeing the new planets we get to look at. Anyways, uh, well, for this news, it sounds like we're all gonna have stuff to prepare for, so yeah, I'm gonna leave you to it. I've been working while we're talking this whole time. Well, yeah, of course you can, but I can't really do that. <laughs> I don't have a, yeah. I don't have a brain for, I don't have a computer for a brain, and um, do you want one? I don't think I'm even gonna live long enough. I say, I don't think I'm gonna live long enough to see the in this entechment stuff get to a level where we can use it reliably. So I probably won't ever have a computer for a brain. Not that I'd ever even need that, to be honest. <laughs>